The state has worked hard to put the Jersey Shore back in shape after the multi-billion dollar disaster called Superstorm Sandy. But climate scientists, city planners, and environmentalists are concerned the coast is just as vulnerable as it was five years ago to rising sea levels and increasingly powerful storms. Brianna Venosi reports on New Jersey Future's big conversation to confront the peril and promise the challenge of climate change. Just halfway into hurricane season, the destruction caused by Harvey, Irma, and Maria are serving as a warning. New Jersey is approaching the fifth anniversary of Superstorm Sandy, and the chance of another more powerful storm hitting the eastern seaboard is growing more likely. I grew up on the shore, I've watched the changes occur, and I know that most of the policies that we have today are totally obsolete for the conditions we're living under today. Conditions like rising sea levels and a warming climate. Stafford Township Mayor John Spodafora told this climate change conference in Trenton his town lost more than 85 percent of waterfront properties during Sandy, not to mention millions in tax rateables. Dealing with st Superstorm Sandy was a nightmare for us. But panelists at New Jersey Futures Forum say the states failed to lead a coordinated response on climate preparedness, leaving coastal communities just as vulnerable as they were five years ago. I think we need somebody which looks at the shore as a whole, uh, helps to bring the towns together, helps to uh, give them assistance in meeting their goals, but also acts as a steward uh, to tackle this question of climate change. When Sandy struck, part of the problem was none of the towns hit by the storm were equipped to respond to the damage. And that's why these experts say any future planning needs to come from a regional level. The state needs to provide municipalities with assistance and guidance for how they evaluate risk, how they begin to develop strategies that are effectively address it. Without the state's guidance, which has been the case for the last five years, municipalities have been on their own and they really haven't been effectively addressing these problems. For starters, they'd like to see New Jersey develop a coastwide management plan. Panelists also recommend New Jersey rejoin REGI. That's the Regional Greenhouse Gas Initiative, a cap and trade program Christie withdrew from after taking office. Every time we have been faced with a serious challenge in this state, we have adopted a, a regional approach. I'm referring, of course, to the Meadowlands Commission. I'm referring to the Pinelands Commission. I'm referring to the Highlands Commission. It is overdue. The fund is recommending that we adopt a climate action plan to address the threats to the coast from rising sea levels. The Shore Protection Master Plan, as many of you know, is 35 years old, predating decades of development predating Superstorm Sandy, predating the latest climate change revelations, and pre predating sea level rise. We need to update it. The Regional Plan Association offered up this idea, an ongoing trust fund set up from surcharges on insurance premiums to pay for future projects. The conversation is intended to be the first of many to help prep the next administration on the state's most pressing issues. In Trenton, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News. Thank you.